Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, good evening. How are you? Uh, I, I'm fine, Virgin. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Did you finish the essay? Yeah, I I finished, but I don't feel that is my 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 best <laughs> my best effort. <laughs> I I I can uh, uh, I I sent the the same the same uh, the same essay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can uh, like I I I yesterday I finished my 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 essay but I sent the the the, the same mm -hmm. all right that's good practice makes perfect remember uh, this is the objective of this is for practice. The more that you practice, uh, the better that you will become in your writing activities. Uh, I, I would like for everybody to look at this section, writing practice test number one. Yesterday, we looked at the, uh, the other writing. The task. Integ integrated writing task. Mm -hmm. That was the activity from yesterday, uh, investigations made at laboratories in the various parts of the world. So in yesterday's class, we were practicing this section. So today, I would like for us to move forward. And today, we are going to be looking at the writing practice test. Read the following passage. Next, you'll listen to an audio clip of a professor giving a lecture on the same topic as that of the passage. Finally, you'll have 20 minutes to plan and compose a short essay of about 150 to 225 words. This essay must summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support our challenge, what's written in the passage. You will not write about your own opinion for this task. At the end, you will send your essay to your teacher. So right now, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. I would like for you to scan and read this text individually, and then we will read it together as a class. You may begin. Okay. Okay.
Hello, Marcelo. Welcome. Right now, what we're doing is uh, reading the text, this text right here, uh, Atzma. We're reading this right here, and then we're going to read it together to review the vocabulary. Okay, teacher. Hello, Nidia. Good evening. Uh, right now, we are reading the text right here, the one about Atzma. So read the text individually, and then we're going to read it together as a class to discuss the vocabulary. Thank you. 
subscribe. Are you guys finished reading or do you need more time? I have finished. You finished? Okay, let's read it together. And let's look at the first section. Okay. It says asthma is usually seen as a condition whose symptoms can be adequately controlled with the right medicines. Researchers point out that it is an intermittent disorder characterized by temporary bouts of inflammation in the airways, which lead to typical symptoms such as wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath. After each episode, often known as an attack, symptoms subside and the airways return to normal. Uh, does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this paragraph? Yes, I have a question. Yes. What is the meaning of wheezing? Uh, repeat the question, please. Could you kindly assist us providing us the meaning of wheezing? Uh, wheezing. Um, wheezing is when people go like this, like... Like they're breathing, but they like like cry at the same time. Okay. Like when you're okay. very tired, that's a wheezing sound. It's not like hyperventilation, no. Yeah, hyperventilation is only like <laughs> wheezing is like <sighs> ah. right, like at the end you have like a shortness. Mm -hmm. All right, I would like a volunteer who wants to read paragraph number two. I'm Julia, paragraph number two, action. Asthmatics tend to be susceptible to certain triggers in the environment. These include, but are not restricted, animal, bird, pollen, cigarette smoke, house dust, mites, and perfumes. Attacks can also be brought on by exercise, emotional stress, variety, variety. A variety of other factors, including respiratory infections, such as the common cold. Excellent. Does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this section? What is triggers? Triggers. Oh, triggers. Triggers. Yeah. Uh, triggers is like when we say, for example, um, el humo del cigarro le dispara el ataque. So trigger is like como que le dispara. Oh, okay. Trigger is like como que le inicia. O lo... Retonante. That's right, retonante, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another question from this paragraph. Yes, what does miles mean? Uh, miles, miles. How does miles? Mites, house does. House does miles. Mites, no, M I T E S. I'm sorry, I cannot see pretty well. Yeah, it's mites. It, house dust mites are, are the little, the little particles of okay. dust. Okay. Ah, okay. Las migajitas de, de polvo. Okay, thank Las minit, you. Minitas de polvo. Mites. Another question from this vocabulary. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Julia, select somebody, please. Julia. Okay. Uh, Marcelo Calles. Marcelo Calles. Ex uh, paragraph number three, please, Marcelo. 
Okay. Uh, during an episode of asthma, the bronchial tubes and the molar tubes dividing of front teeth, now as bronchi bronchitis. Bronchitis. Bronchitis become bronchitis. narrow or okay. Become narrow or blocking or block it, block it, and block. as a result, block. And and as a result, air can get in or of the lungs easily. There are two basic causes. Causes. Causes behind bronchial narrowing. Mm -hmm. Either the bron the bronch and bronchiolus. The bronchi and bro bronchiolus. Bronchi and bronchial bronchiolus are created by muscles wrapped around them later light elastic bands, or they become blocked 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 by mucus and mucus and swelling. Mucus. 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 Okay. Mucus and swelling inside the tubes of the tubes themselves. Okay. Stop right there. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any vocabulary referring to this section that Marcelo just read? Questions referring to the section that Marcelo just read? All right, go ahead, Marcelo. Select somebody to finish the text. Freddy Opico. Freddy Opico, finish the text, please. Hello, hello, Freddy. Estás ahí? Okay, Freddy, hello. finish, please. We are here where it says when, when the bronchi. That's right. When the bronchi are constricted, okay. the condition is called bronchoconstriction. When the, when the bronchi are constricted, the condition is called bronchoconstriction. Occasional squeezing of the bronchi is normal, but in asthma sufferers, <clears throat> this muscles may react to sen sensitively to environmental triggers. It is also a normal function of the bronchial tubes to produce mucus and in concert tiny hairs call it cilia. 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 To trap cilia. Cilia to trap in a Irritants and remove the inhaled irritants. Thank you. To trap inhaled irritants and remove them from the body. Thus, um, thus, I don't know. Thus, por eso. The, or the hecho. Protect, okay, protecting the lungs. But some asthmatics produce an overabundant. Overabundance of over muscles. overabundance overabundance of mucus 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> and the results in blocked airways and consequent asthmatic symptoms. Very good. All right. Uh, thank you, Freddie. Very good. Does anybody have a question referring to this vocabulary in this section? Teacher, could you repeat Celia. to trap? Mm -hmm. uh, tiny hairs called cilia. Cilia are little hairs that you have inside your lungs. Your lungs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ready, uh, Freddy, repeat. And what is to trap? To trap means uh, to catch. Oh, 
no, no. This other word, toss or tooth, no sé, tubes. Tubes, tubos, tubes. No. When thus. I... Ah, thus, that. por eso, o de hecho. Thus protecting the lungs. Thus protecting the lungs means, eh, entonces, de hecho, el... de, uh, entonces, protegiendo los pulmones. It's another way to say so. That's correct. To okay, say so you. or to say entonces. Thank you. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to write. Uh, you can listen. We can listen to it together. It's the same thing that we were reading. Listen, please. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation, a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly, genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, Certain individuals may develop remodeled, vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Would you like for me to play the audio one more time? Please. Okay. Yes. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation, a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently 
due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a consequence of asthma. It may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly, genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled, vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. Okay, so now this is what we are going to do. I'm going to put everybody in pairs, but everybody is going to do it on their own, but you can work together. You're going to write an essay about this topic, referring to the asthma. First, you're going to write an et you will write, you will not write about your own opinion. You're going to write the difference between the audio and the text. And you're going to send it to my email. All right, we're going to go to work on in pairs. Any Regarding questions? That, yeah, yeah, I do have a question. Regarding mm -hmm. to that, how do we have to structure this to say? Uh, you're going to first, you're going to analyze the difference between what it says in the text. This is like a comparison, right? What, what the text says and how the listening, the audio, the way the audio, eh, como que se contradice. Listen to the instructions. Listen to this part. Hold on, I don't know why it's not playing. One second. So now listen to part of a lecture a on the topic you just read about. Not, not a comparison. List, listen one more time. Hold on. Often in medical re okay. causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly genetic factors play a role. So the audio is expressing one opinion. The text is expressing a different opinion. But it seems that a combination of genetics and the environment are to blame. So in the audio is saying that it's genetics and the environment. That is the reason why people get asthmatic attacks. In other words, certain individuals may develop remodeled vulnerable airways due to the environment affecting them even before birth. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard. Okay. Summarize the points you just heard in the lecture. So first, you're going to summarize the points in the lecture. That's first. Explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading. 
and how the points in the audio cast doubt, dudas, on the text in the reading. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand, guys? Yes. I don't know how to say cast doubts in Spanish. Um, eh, como eh, lo que dice el audio, el, el, el lecture, es el speech, es un discurso, y como el discurso eh, causa duda en la información que está en el texto que leímos. Eso estamos haciendo. Ok. ¿Sí? Do you understand? Ok. Yes. I understand. All right. So we're going to work in pairs. Todos lo tienen que hacer and send it to my email. Individual, but you're going to work in pairs. Yeah. Ready? I'm going to put Julia, Nidia, and Robert work as a trio. Freddy Opico and Marcelo work in pairs. And Rodrigo Ardon and Virginia work together. Let's go. Uh, Julia, you're supposed to be working with Nidia and Roberto. And that's my attack and the triggers for the the attack and and how the, the body respond responds. But the the audio uh, I think it tells you about the costs of the of the asthma that they have that the asthma have uh, has a a genetic genetically uh, the causes yes the causes uh, yes a genetic genetically origin and, uh, and the condition after that the I don't remember the the word that they say but the the body um, Uh, get accustomed to that condition, and the same condition makes you. I, I don't remember the word, but it makes you that the the attacks happen again. So it's like a trigger too. That the body get used to it. Yes. Get used to those type. Well, get used to those type of attacks. Yeah. Or to talk or to that type of behavior. Yes. And the same condition makes the body to to have attacks. I I, I think something like that is the is the the audio. Okay. Do you know how many words we have to write? In that case, just let me go ahead and take a look at it. Since we're going to talk about very specific parts of the of the lungs. Okay. So yes, it's part of the lecture, the, the, the reading that says how your body react when you have a, an attack, an asthma attack, okay? Right now we're at the integrated writing task or at the writing practice test? Excuse me? We are at the integrated writing task or at the test? Uh, Sorry. And we're at the test, I'm able to see it right now. Just, just, just. 
I'm going to the platform because I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now I'm, I'm into the platform. So yes, the word that we will have to take in consideration will be the term itself, which is as, asthma. Mm -hmm. The symptoms, it's talking about symptoms, researchers, uh, wishing, well, the, the, the symptoms of, a, of an asthma attack will be really useful in this case. Is in the section four or section three? It's at the section four. It's at the writing practices. Ah, writing practices. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's a, a short to say about 150 or 225 words. And you yeah. have to summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they support or challenge what's written in the passages. I need to listen more to the audio. Okay, we can play the audio okay, again. Often in medical research, new evidence makes us take a fresh look at causation. Now, the immediate causes of asthma are not in doubt, but there is some new thinking about the fundamental causes of this condition. It's been said that after an asthma attack, the airways of the sufferer return to normal. But what about in between attacks? Until recently, it was assumed that bronchial function returned to normal until the onset of a new attack. But it has become clear in some asthmatics that the airways can become permanently narrowed and the walls of the airways thickened. These abnormalities in asthmatics airways are due to what is called remodeling. It used to be thought that remodeling was the result of long-term inflammation, a kind of scarring from repeated episodes over a long period. But more recently, it has been suggested that remodeling of the tubes is not only a result of this scarring, but also may be the primary cause of the condition. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to the disease. This idea has gained acceptability recently due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeled airways. So according to this view, remodeling is not just a and we need to write a, a, I say, a paragraph or a comparison to... Yeah, maybe it could be a, 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 a brief mm -hmm. with our own words that we understand of the paragraph and the audio. Okay. Okay, and what more says the audio? <laughs> hmm? What more? What says more the, the audio about the, 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 the asthma? I don't remember. No. In the audio mention of the children's, I remember. Mm -hmm. Man. Well, I think that I have to Listen again. Yes. Yes. Because maybe I just have some ideas, but I have to listen again, to be honest. But you know, uh, another idea or another information about Mm, yeah. When you are a smart, a smart person, you need to 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 um, manejar el estrés. 
so because uh, it produces a uh, more 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 harder asthma mm -hmm. and in I saw I listened when you are asthmatic uh, the people say that or the doctor says that you need to practice uh, swimming to development your your lungs and and it's it's a, a, a very effective medicine yeah i know that well maybe not always in all patients no, patient patient yeah okay that for example when somebody has an asthma attack mm -hmm. uh, that person turn on like purple your face your body your lips because mm -hmm. that person are drawing mm -hmm. Um, teacher, in, in the essay, we can uh, say that this idea is from the passage and the other one is for from the lecture? Of course. Yes. Mr. Santos? Yes, that is correct. That's right. Of course. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes, definitely. Okay. So oh my God. I need more <laughs> than 100. It's 150 to 225. So uh, I think that he writes in the, in the WhatsApp group. What two hundred words. Two hundred. Two hundred. Uh, okay. Right. 
39 dimension line. This idea has gained acceptability due to evidence from studies of young children. This research shows that many asthmatic children already have remodeling. So according to this, remodeling will not just be unsupported, it may also be an underlying cause. So what causes the remodeling in the first place? Certainly genetic factors play a role. But it seems that a combination of genetics and environment are to blame. In other words, certain individuals may develop a vulnerable environment that goes for birth. Summarize the point made in the lecture you just heard. Now listen to the part of a lecture on Also, may be the primary. In other words, remodeling may be fundamental to.
you um you can learn more vocabulary about it ah okay mm -hmm. and you can record and maybe that's it mm. and right now i'm trying to read a book in english ah okay interest i hope that helped me <laughs> <laughs> yes yes when it's more interesting when when you read something that like you mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay okay you have a lot of a lot of time now, right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> i have mm -hmm. to do something uh -huh. you need to, to do something okay 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 teacher we are um uh, talking about a little information that we know about asthma and something like that We are sharing some ideas. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. You have to be 200 in the essay. What? Have to be 200 words in the essay. I think that we have to return with the main station because just uh, just have for a minute more. Yes, but the teacher. I don't know if the teacher is here or has problem with the internet. Teacher. No. <laughs> no. I think maybe it will be good. When we need to to salir, we leave breakout room. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's here. Uh, okay. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. If you are finished, that's very good. If you are not finished, that is going to be your homework. Please send it to my email as soon as you got it. And we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.